Hi, I'd like to just take a moment and talk a little bit about Independence Day. Uh, for the last 10 years, uh, my family, and now a bunch of friends, about 50 of us uh, this year, showed up at Independence Lake uh, in Michigan. And we put up a big flag and uh, the kids play in the lake and we have all kinds of foods available and the people get acquainted with one another. Sometimes we haven't seen each other for a long time. But it's a civic holiday, right? I mean, Independence Day is a chance for the American people to recognize the signing of the Declaration of Independence. And I think, unfortunately, uh, it's not well taught any longer. But in the Declaration of Independence, we have the beginning of a whole new understanding of the role of government in people's lives. So, you know, when, when Jefferson writes that um, we have inalienable rights because we have been created by God, uh, he's actually speaking in a very Christian tone. Now, I know there's political philosophy and he draws from John Locke and there's a long historical tradition there. But the point is, the Founding Fathers, to a man, believed that freedom could only be sustained by virtue because they believed that freedom was a gift of God. It was part of our created nature. And we could only sustain it by the pursuit of the good, the true, and the beautiful. And I think Christians in particular miss the opportunity the 4th of July brings us to talk about God, about human beings made in the image and likeness of God. We don't take the opportunity we have uh, to use the 4th of July evangelistically. Uh, so I would just like to encourage people to learn a little bit about the Declaration of Independence, Thomas Jefferson's. Now Jefferson was no, was no Orthodox Christian at all. And in fact, he, he was very suspicious of the Catholic Church. But he was part of a tradition, a political tradition and a, a religious tradition that did recognize God as creator, an underlying moral law, the idea that there would be judgment at some point uh, whether in eternity or at moments in history. And I think that 4th of July is a day we shouldn't let go by. So the Founding Fathers, well, number one, over one third of the quoted references in all of their writings are scripture. Uh, number two, the Declaration is grounded in the idea of a divinely created nature and nature's God. Number three, virtue was essential to the maintenance of liberty. And that's, America today is very different from America then. People weren't any more virtuous in the past, but they did know that if they were going to sustain liberty and freedom, they had to be a virtuous people. Uh, the farewell address of George Washington says, religion and morality are indispensable uh, support for prosperity and freedom. Uh, John Adams said that the U.S. Constitution was made for a religious people and wouldn't really work with any other. We're at a moment in our history now where many Americans have forgotten this and we can use this moment not only to uh, recapture that older sense of America as a nation grounded in freedom so we can pursue virtue, but also use the Independence Day as a way of drawing people's attention to God and his son, Jesus Christ.